With mega uploads being stormed today, is the United States planning to bring charges against 25% of the internet users, including you? This is Mike Mozart back again with my third SOPA Protect IP video. You might have heard today that Mega Upload was stormed worldwide. That's right, they arrested the creator of Mega Uploads, they indicted and arrested the staff of Mega Uploads. They seized the computers and the files. And do you know what was in those files? All the user information. Now anyone out there that's used Mega Uploads, you've got a major problem right now. Why? Because they have all the records of everyone that ever uploaded a file or ever downloaded a file. And do you know what the United States does to anybody that even like downloads a few songs? Look at this woman, Jamie Thomas, a single mom, a Native American single mom, struggling to get by. Obama's Department of Justice is arguing that she needs to pay $1.5 million for just downloading 24 songs from Kazaa. Oddly, this is reported in CNET. Who distributed Kazaa? As reported by CNET Division of CBS. The actual distributors of all this file sharing software that use copyrighted songs to promote it. And it was downloaded 326 million times from them. And Jamie used it exactly as they showed. Now she owes over a million and a half dollars for downloading 24 songs. She's been appealing this judgment for years. But back to mega uploads. That's what this video is about. I'm just referring to Jamie Rasser Thomas because that's a preview of coming events for you. That's right, 25% of the users on the internet have used Mega Upload. Probably you have, or one of your friends, or a member of your family. Did you know in the United States that the statutory damages for copyright infringement are $150,000 per infringed work? Now they have all the files. If you've ever uploaded a single thing that was a copyright infringement to Mega Uploads, you can kiss $150,000 goodbye. Because they're going to be coming after you. I mean really coming after you. And if you saw the video I just put up that featured Richard O'Dwyer in England, who had a website that just linked to copyright infringing material, think how screwed you are if you ever uploaded anything that was copyright infringing. Think how screwed you are if you ever downloaded something that was copyright infringing. Because now they have all the records from Mega Upload. You see, that service often made people pay. You had to pay for better quality service or more upload space. And now Obama's Justice Department has all the payment records and IP address. And you know what? You can't use anonymizers to download things like hour-long HD movies. Heck no. The Tor clients, that's not what those are for. They're more for communications. They're not for downloading these movies. So now they're going to have all these records and all these files and all the big media companies are going to go, Bonanza, we could bankrupt 25% of the people of the world. Boy, we can't wait to start writing those extradition notices for England. So, had any of your mates in the UK ever downloaded anything from Mega Uploads? Maybe that was copyrighted or maybe ever uploaded something? Because if you did, you're screwed. Pack your bag, you're coming to the USA. They got a nice cold jail cell they're building for you. Oh, statutory damages, $150,000 per infringed work? Pfft. Oh, come on, you must have downloaded eight movies in the last year for Mega Uploads. They got all those records. You know what? Your family's going to be bankrupted. You could kiss your home goodbye. No college for you. You're going to be in jail. That's what happened today, and no one's reporting that part of that truth. Is that the most shocking, sick thing? Think about it. President Obama's administration, the Department of Justice, making single moms and college kids pay $150,000 per infringed copyrighted work. No kidding. So if you uploaded 10 movies or 10 TV shows to Mega Uploads, they got the records. They're, they're going to take everything you own. And guess what? In the United States... You can't get out of copyright infringement. You can't declare bankruptcy because the media has such a stranglehold over our politicians in the United States. Of, of course, all the politicians in the UK are United States' as bitches. You know that, right? They're not ruling that country. We are over here. $150,000 statutory damages per infringed work. And now Obama's administration has all the files. They're going to know every one of you that ever uploaded and everyone that ever downloaded. You're all screwed. And this is, this is what I even SOPA or PIPA. Holy crap. This is going to be horror of horrors. So make sure you tell all of your friends. You spread this video. Steal this video. You, you have my permission. Steal this video. Re-upload it all over the entire internet so everyone can find it. We have to warn the people they're about to lose their homes, their careers, and they're going to be put in prison because that's what the laws are in the United States. And extraditions to the United States? Pfft. Richard O'Dwyer's just the first one. 
We're building fresh new prisons to hold all you. I'm not kidding. That's what's going on here. Welcome to the police state, because you're going to become a permanent part of it. Look at this. The United States imprisons a larger percentage of its population than any country on Earth. 20% more people than even Russia imprisons. Of course, the United States is proud of the fact that they're one of the only countries on Earth that execute minor children, even for nonviolent offenses. Is this the tourist destination you want to bring your family to? Of course, copyright laws are much more important than laws that could stop this. That's right, United States, we're number one for imprisoning our population because the corporations run the prisons. And what does a corporation want to do? They want more clients. They want more profits. So the more people they can imprison, the more money those prisons are making. Oh, and they're forced labor, too. This is all real. Look it up online. Human rights organizations, as well as political and social ones, are condemning what they are calling a new form of inhumane exploitation in the United States, where they say a prison population of up to 2 million, mostly black and Hispanic, are working for various industries for a pittance for the tycoons who have invested in the prison industry. It has been like finding a pot of gold. They don't have to worry about strikes or paying unemployment insurance, vacations or comp time. All of their workers are full-time and never arrive late and are absent never because of family problems. Moreover, if they don't like the pay of 25 cents an hour and refuse to work, they're locked up in isolation cells. And they're going to use copyright infringement worldwide to drag you here to stock our slave labor camps. Isn't this exciting? You're going to get a free trip to America to work in one of our slave labor camps. And they do everything they can to write up every violation you do there to keep you there forever. That's right. It's a lifetime investment because you downloaded some things overseas so they can extradite you here to become one of our slaves. This is real. Google it. And you know what? All the citizens of the world are going to become part of it because we're going to extradite you here to use for free labor. That's a great plan. It's too bad you're all part of it. Ah, <sighs> sorry to break this news to you. Hey, it's already started. This British student's being shipped here just for linking to infringing copyrighted works. If you're a citizen of the UK, or you're a citizen of any country of the world, I really think you should go to gopetition.com and sign this to stop the extradition of Richard O'Dwyer for simply linking to copyright infringing material. Because what they're going to do to you is a thousand times worse if you ever used mega uploads. This could be your only chance to send the world a message. Go there and sign this petition now and tell everyone to do it. If you look online about all the stories about mega upload, you don't see this part of it. Do you see this part? What I'm telling you right now, have you heard this anywhere else? you got to make sure you tell everyone what the truth is about mega upload because this is just the first one. They're going to be doing rapid share and all the other ones. And they're going to storm these offices, take their computers, and they're going to have your information in them. No kidding. Mega Upload's really based in Hong Kong, which is part of China now. So the United States cooperated with China and vice versa, probably because China is planning to do something like extradite us from the USA there if we write negative things about them. You know, it could carry a death sentence or like 10 years in prison if you write the tiniest, teeniest little thing bad about China. I guess that's part of their plan, but I'll do another video about that. But the actual owner and staff is in New Zealand. But do you know why the United States took it upon themselves to carry out this action? Because they had a few leased servers in Virginia. Oh my God. So now they can police the entire world if any company in the world has that tiniest little presence in the United States. What does that tell you if your business overseas? You pull all of your goddamn business out of America. If you're on the internet, you don't work with an American company, you don't use our server space, you don't use our IP registrars, or you could find yourself in an American prison for the rest of your life. You remember that. That's why no tourists come to America anymore. Our tourism is dead. And while the offices of Mega Upload were being raided, President Obama was at Disney World promoting tourism to people around the world. Come to the country that imprisons more of its children than any other country on Earth, and one of the only countries on Earth that actually executes children. Welcome to Disney! You've seen the videos on YouTube. They beat the crap out of people in the streets with impunity. For God's sakes, don't go to any of our major cities. Don't come here. This is the most dangerous place in the world to be. This is the last place on Earth you want to be a tourist to right now. If you watch my other SOPA videos, you're going to find out that the CNET division of CBS Television really started the whole phenomenon of internet piracy. They've never been arrested or stormed, have they? And they won't be because they're a billion dollar American corporation. We found that out. We have so much damning evidence no one will pay us any attention. You know, they're still distributing that software there. Oh, I almost forgot BitTorrent. You know that, you know that software called BitTorrent? 
It's not just a protocol. BitTorrent's a company based in the United States. Who are the investors in BitTorrent? Um, a cell partners? Um, whoever DAG is, Doll Capital Management. A lot of those people, I think, were like Paul Allen, Microsoft. I'm not sure. I think, I think Dell Computers might have invested in it. There are a lot of investors in BitTorrent. And Excel Partners is known for being what? They're the major investor in Facebook. They're one of the single largest owners and investors of Facebook. Wow! And aren't you all just about figuring out we're all a bunch of freaking pawns in all of this? Because I asked a TV station reporter once, how come they never stormed BitTorrent? They said because it's owned by most of the large corporations in America. Oh, that's why the RIA never sued it or stormed it. But when Viacom sued YouTube in that statement of undisputed facts, they say BitTorrent is a notorious piracy system. Thus, the founders conscientiously aim to attract users by emulating notorious piracy services like Napster, Kazaa, and BitTorrent. There is Viacom's sworn testimony in court. So there it is, sworn testimony. Go get them, Obama. Go arrest everyone at BitTorrent. I'll give you the addresses if you don't have them. They're right in the USA. Let's not forget Azurius Vuz. Azurius was a BitTorrent client, and the touching beginning of Azurius was on their website for half a decade, courtesy of the Internet Wayback Machine. The founder wanted to share nine songs that touched him and amazed him, and so, so other people could share songs that touched and amazed them. I kind of wonder if The Verve's History or Elvis Costello's Watching the Detectives, is that Talking Head song copyrighted? Here's their front page from the Internet Wayback Machine from 2006. And in this zero-paid article about it in 2007, specifically saying it's a popular BitTorrent client, it says, Jarl Moan, current chairman of the board of CNET Networks and a Zurius board member. How interesting. And look, they were sued in France just then because it was so great at procuring copyrighted work. How come it was never sued in America? Hmm? Quickly renamed Vuz after that little lawsuit thing, it's actually the basis for Glam Media and Fanhattan. Wait till you hear the investors. Some of America's largest corporations have dumped tens of millions of dollars into this piracy system. Some of the biggest public institutions and schools have tons invested. And because of the draconian laws the big media companies have crafted, you can go after the officers, you can go after the assets of the officers, you can go after all the assets of all the investors. Gerald Mohn, who was a major investor, was the president of it. I can tell you where to find him to arrest and indict him. I think he's on the board of directors of Viacom still. He used to be, I think, the president of the MTV division of Viacom. And he was also on the board of directors of Artist Direct. You know, Media Defender, the people that... We're finding copyright infringers to bring them to justice? David has filed a multi-billion dollar lawsuit against CNET CBS. And something you can do to help us out is we need people that own valid U.S. copyrights that were infringed through any file sharing service. Contact Alki David through CBSUSuck.com because if you own, say, 10 infringed works, 15, the college or university you're at probably has thousands of infringed works. It's $150,000 statutory damage per infringed work. That's a lot of money that you could be making or your friend or dad or, or your university is probably cash strapped right now. So get busy. Help us find more plaintiffs because this lawsuit is going forward. Alki David's a billionaire and he's not stopping. And the next video we make is going to be even more tragic or interesting than this one. So, so have you ever used Mega Upload? I'm sorry, you're screwed. Really? Make sure the world sees this video because nobody is thinking what I'm saying right now. Make sure you favorite this video on YouTube. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you thumb up this video. Make sure you download this video and re-upload it on YouTube or anywhere else on the whole internet you desire. And you know what? There's a remix button underneath this. Click that remix button and remix and upload it directly to your channel without even downloading it. Because you have my permission. Because there's a lot of shenanigans going on, and unfortunately, probably 25% of the internet community now is going to be sued or damaged by what's happened with mega uploads. They're coming after you. <sighs> Make sure you tell the world what's going on here, because this is only the start. They're going to control you. They're going to own you. They're going to take away everything you own. Because they, that's what they do. They have no hearts. And you're going to watch their media... You're going to support these monsters? No way.